The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, 3. The Winkies were now free from the Wicked Witch of the West. Dorothy ran and freed the lion. The Winkies helped Dorothy and the lion search for their friends. They fixed the tin woodman and stuffed the scarecrow with new straw. Dorothy found the golden cap and took it. After walking for two days, they realized they were lost. The words on the inside of the golden cap had magical powers. Dorothy read them. Soon, the sky was filled with winged monkeys. They carried Dorothy and her friends to the Emerald City. The guardian of the gates took them to the palace at once. When they entered the room, they heard a voice. The voice told them to come back tomorrow. Suddenly, Toto jumped and pulled down the curtain. A little old man was standing behind it. I am the great Wizard of Oz, said the little man in a trembling voice. Dorothy and her friends were angry because the great Oz said he was just a common man with no special powers. Well, he said with a sigh, if you come back tomorrow, I will grant your wishes. The great Oz knew he did not have any special powers, but was sure he could think of something. The next morning, the great Oz fulfilled their wishes. First, he stuffed the scarecrow's head with many things. Next, he put a pretty heart made of silk into the chest of the tin woodman. Then he made the lion drink something to give him courage. For Dorothy, the great Oz built a hot air balloon. The Great Oz decided to fly back to Kansas with Dorothy. The Great Oz told his people that the Scarecrow would rule over them now. When the balloon was filled with hot air, the ropes broke and it flew up into the air. Dorothy and Toto could not get into the balloon in time. Dorothy cried. How would she get home now? The palace soldiers suggested that they go to Glinda, the good witch of the south. While they were traveling south, the lion helped a group of animals defeat a horrible monster. They came to a steep hill covered with big rocks and strange men and couldn't pass through. Dorothy called the winged monkeys, and they carried them over the hill. They arrived at the good witch's castle. I want to go back to Kansas, Dorothy said. I can help you, said Glinda. Then she asked the others what they wanted. The scarecrow wanted to return to the Emerald City. The tin woodman wanted to go to the land of the Winkies. The lion wanted to go back to the forest. Glinda said she would ask the winged monkeys to carry them where they wanted to go. But how will I get back to Kansas? asked Dorothy. Your silver shoes, replied Glinda. They can carry you anywhere in just three steps. Just knock the heels together three times and say where you want to go. Dorothy said goodbye to her friends and picked up Toto. Then she knocked the heels of her shoes together three times and said, Take me home to Kansas. The silver shoes took three steps and then stopped. When Dorothy looked around, 
she could not believe her eyes. She ran toward her aunt. Aunt M, I'm home at last.